hard at work on his latest creation. For artist Dan Nguyen, graffiti is one way to bend the rules in conservative Vietnam. It's, it's allowing the, the youth to kind of like choose their own, like who they are. Like, it's like, this is me, this is, this is who I want to be now. Graffiti has taken hold in the one-party state where artworks must be approved before exhibitions. But artists are careful to steer clear of politics in their work to avoid the communist nation's firm censorship restrictions. Their work has transformed Ho Chi Minh City, where several public art spaces have popped up in recent years. Uh, they're all adding to the, the acceptance of street art here and travelers come here, tourists come here, uh, international artists come here and then they already know about these spaces. And while graffiti was once seen as vandalism, local residents now see it through different eyes. For me and others, these paintings have improved our knowledge and imagination. They make our life more interesting. One of the city's most popular spots for street art is 3A Station, once reportedly occupied by the CIA during the Vietnam War. But with the city in the midst of a building boom, it's set to be soon demolished. Yeah, but now the city is growing up, the de development with a lot of building, a lot of security, and so it's really hard for us to to pen masterpiece. But with graffiti culture now firmly established, young artists are sure to continue seeking out fresh canvases for their work.